Ladies, how's it going? Sherry here. So, if you haven't checked out the Divine Masculine reading yet, that was a pretty powerful message. Uh, it felt like it was coming from him, so it was very beautiful. Um, so this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for May the 21st until the 29th. So I'm going to be using the uh, Fairy Tarot by Lenormand and um, my cards for clarification. So I've already shuffled them really good, so I'll just give them a quick shuffle here. So I'm excited to find out what's in store for the feminine because the, the energies have been so strong lately. Um, the message is so clear. Okay. So uh, I'm going to be doing a divine partnership but split. So beginning with um, relationship, loving relationship. How does the feminine um, view the relationship with the masculine? resources. So this is a movement forward. Um, you feel uplifted and um, you're using your resources wisely in order to to continue moving forward. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the 1111 calling card. So this showed up in the Divine Masculine reading. Awesome. Um, so the Six of Pentacles represents um, sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. So it's a cohabitation card. Uh, it's an even exchange of energy. So it's working in harmony with somebody. Um, you know, an even exchange, an even a, a flow of resources. So um, I'm feeling, you know, like the feminine wants to move forward. Uh, and share her life with the masculine but she is feeling possibly imprisoned but I don't think this energy is coming from her I feel that it's coming from the masculine because he got that in his present position for the twin flame reading um, so it's you know being held back um, it's an energy that is stopping you from moving forward so you know it's a self-imposed prison of the mind so I was saying to the masculine, you know, you choose to believe that you're in that prison, but ultimately you hold the key to your own freedom. Uh, you can release yourself at any time. Um, so now that energy is being mirrored over onto the feminine. So because the masculine is feeling chained, held back, then the feminine is feeling chained and held back. And uh, she's being held back from the union. Uh, so she recognizes this connection that the two of you share um, as being a, a twin flame connection. She knows it at the very core of her being. Um, and like I said, she wants to move forward with it, but she's being held back. Okay, so what are you resisting? Ending. Um, so this was the um, overall energy for the Divine Masculine reading. Um, so this represents kind of a transition energy. It's um, an instigation. Um, so after this end, a new begins. And again, it's using your resources and things available to you in order to um, manifest this new life, this new beginning. Oh, wow. Four wands. Oh, my God. Heart chakra. Oh, my God. Completion. So I'm going to hold this up close so I can take a screenshot of that. So I'm going to use that as the front. Um, okay, so we have here again the twin flame connection. Okay, it, this, uh, these two cards are basically exactly the same. Um, however, you know, this one has a deeper meaning in that it's that arrival, you know, with your twin flame. You're actually sharing your life with your twin flame sitting in front of this beautiful, warm, glowing fire um, and uh, just basking in the glow of love and happiness. So it could represent like marriage or, um, you know, getting engaged or buying a home, 
uh, property, that kind of thing. So it's a new, starting a new life with um, your divine masculine. Um, but it, you're living your life on a spiritual level. The heart chakra, unconditional love. Um, you, the in the divine masculine reading, you really come off as this open, loving, generous, warm spirit, and it's being reflected again in these cards. So um, your heart chakra open. Um, you're giving love freely and receiving love freely and it's because of this connection that you have with the masculine um, the world card is the final piece of the puzzle being placed so it's the completion of a major cycle from 20 years to a lifetime to complete um, so it's that final piece being laid so you feel there's a resistance you feel that the, there is an ending that's near um, but it's slightly out of reach, and it's your twin flame connection. Um, he represents that final piece of the puzzle being laid. So there's this beautiful knowing and understanding, but for some reason there's a resistance to it. And quite obviously it's a result of this eight of swords here. Okay, so a uh, message from your higher self. But, wow, that's like weird, because the masculine got this uh, in his message from his higher self. And for me, this represents the uh, description book that I'm working on right now for the book, or for the cards. Um, so uh, my higher self is telling me to get my body and gear and finish that book. Um, but for you guys, this represents knowledge and wisdom that you've attained. Um, and using that in some way. So let's find out what for. Whoa, the devil card, the knight of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles. So the devil is stopping you from um, achieving your goals is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so your higher self um, could be sending you messages. Okay, so the higher self is the subconscious mind. Uh, so this is where the high priestess um, is the ruler, right? She um, is the gatekeeper. She, she, um, she's the root from which you can gain this wisdom and knowledge. But it, this wisdom is uh, from your own experiences, from your past. So if you quiet the mind and uh, you, know, you open your third eye chakra, you are able to go um, beneath the surface of the the conscious mind to the subconscious and that's where you will gain wisdom and knowledge however the um, devil card represents the unconscious mind not the subconscious there's a difference between those two the subconscious is a higher level of um, consciousness um, so it's you know in the it's sub because it's below the super consciousness. We got super consciousness, um, uh, subconscious, then we got conscious, and then unconscious. So unconscious is the lowest level of existence. Um, this is the ego. Um, this is your attachments to the material world. Uh, so if you identify with material possessions, then this ego, this unconscious, uh, chain is in control of your life. Uh, so this could also represent like a codependent relationship or an addiction, but it's something that you're using to fill that void in your life. Okay, so um, the Knight of Pentacles, my favorite knight, uh, this is someone who has planned out uh, their long-term goal very thoroughly and has taken very calculated steps in order to arrive. Uh, so, pentacle energy, these two cards, is earth energy, so this has to do with the 3D world, and so does this card. Um, the devil card is um, earth energy. So, um, we have this movement forward in the 3D world, but there's still this chain that you are linked to this ball and chain that you are dragging with you as you're moving forward. 
So I'm almost feeling as if it is slowing down the process, not in a good way. This is my favorite night. I always uh, perceive this night as someone who will arrive at their destination no matter what. And he will arrive because the Ten of Pentacles is there. It's in front of him. However, um, you know, Divine Feminine, you're still dragging this chain uh, with you, this attachment. So um, your higher self is telling you to release something in the 3D world, okay? Um, and uh, break that chain. Um, and it may have something to do with um, acquiring knowledge. Uh, so it's almost like, you know, your higher self is telling you to do some research or to plan ahead. Um, to use your resources, um, your, you know, skills and talents in order to um, just break that bond, whatever it is that's stopping you. So the Ten of Pentacles represents um, that long-term goal. It's so crazy that it's, you know, these cards are lined up the way they are. It's a perfect story. So the Ten of Pentacles, it's what the knight wants to attain. Um, so it's that long-term vision. It is um, the ultimate ending in the material world. Uh, so it's retirement. It's not having to worry about money anymore. Um, and it really is like a detachment from the devil energy. You've, you're, you've completed this massive cycle. This, uh, and you are, um, you know, you're wealthy. Uh, but not in the material world. It's you're wealthy because you're surrounded by friends and family. Um, you don't take pleasure from the material world. You you are um, happiest most uh, from family and friends and freedom. So your higher self is uh, telling you to use your subconscious, your um, you know, listen to your, your higher self is telling you to listen to your higher self, <laughs> is what I'm seeing here. Uh, and it's telling you to break free from something in the material world, because although you are making progress, it is slowing you down uh, from achieving that ultimate goal, that final piece of the puzzle. You're resisting ending something, repeated message. So I was thinking, you know, that, that, chain might be coming from the eight of swords from the masculine energy but i don't know now um because why would the devil show up on your side so well let's just continue on so your recent past position wow i knew this card would show up that's hilarious <clears throat> um if you look at all these cards they all have a similar theme to them it's using your resources, okay? That's represented by these little pixel fairy things um, kind of hiding in the bushes. Uh, so it's like using positive energy, positive, you know, um, your resources, anything that you have, ability, have around you, <laughs> basically, in order to um, move forward on this journey. So these cards are both about moving forward, using those resources. Um, this card is, uh, you know, you've created this boundary for yourself to protect yourself in a good way. Um, but ultimately, you know, you need to embark on this journey um, uh, unguarded and use resources, these hidden talents and secrets in order to, you know, build momentum, I guess, is what I'm seeing here. But it's interesting, all three of these cards are asking you to tap in to to something to some secret knowledge or wisdom or talent i'm really seeing soul purpose you know coming up right now okay four of cups temperance again and six of swords so remember that this is your past position, okay? So here you have set off on this journey and um, you feel empowered. And this is, you know, you did this in the past. Um, okay, so the, the four, and that's represented by this card, but I'll get back to that. 
Um, the Four of Cups represents stagnation, longing, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. So that's very reflective of this ball and chain, okay? So, um, you know, this energy could be coming from the outside as well. You know, somebody didn't take your offer of love. And so, you know, you, you, you feel helpless, like you're there, there's out of control. It's out of your hands, basically. So because of that, there's this uneasiness, you know what I mean? Like it's a kind of a walking back and forth, hesitate, hesitation, um, powerlessness feeling to it. The temperance card is um, the ultimate union card. Now you got this card twice in the past position for the twin flame reading and it's showing up again in your past position. So what I'm feeling from that is, you know, you went from this state of feeling this emotional disconnect from your masculine to the state of balance, peace and harmony. So the temperance also represents like a balance between the 3D world and your spiritual world. So um, she is ultimate balance. She is the S in the yin and yang symbol. So it, uh, this is also the ultimate union card for me. So it's a coming together of the twin flames, um, you know, um, to form one. She also represents being in the now. Um, you know, she there is no time in the dimension where she exists. Um, uh, the now is always now, okay? Um, always in the present. And she represents patience as well. So planting that seed um, and nurturing it so it grows into, you know, beautiful flowers. So in the past, although you felt, you know, Things were stagnant. They weren't moving. Um, you released yourself from that state of mind. And I'm saying that because, not only because of the temperance card, which represents, you know, being in this ultimate blissful, peaceful state, uh, but also because of the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords represents moving from this kind of state of mind into a more um, serene, silent, still uh, state. So, it is the, um, you know, the eye within the storm. It's, uh, it's quieting the mind. Swords represents thoughts. So this is moving from chaos to stillness, uh, metaphorically. Um, now, in the physical world, this could also represent the, some feminines um, walking away from the masculine. Um, you know, um, disconnecting in order to heal herself. Um, you know, uh, so she's not projecting her fears onto the masculine because this four of cups is a projection. You know, these are thoughts and emotions that are stirring within yourself and you're looking out that window projecting this longing energy for the masculine. Um, but you broke free of that. Um, you know, here you are open, exposed, naked. Um, but you're in this angel-like energy um, and the six of swords is actual movement so you've healed yourself you know you pulled yourself out of the stagnation you healed yourself found yourself again and now there's this movement which is represented by this card okay so you have acquired this pixie dust to take with you on this journey um, you know you have these mountains that are protecting you um, and you will be safe is what spirit is saying. So good for you guys. That's a major accomplishment. Um, okay. So your present position. Ah, how beautiful. So this card showed up in the last week's uh, reading. So you are the anchor. You are grounded. Um, so this card reminded me of that song, you know, I will never forget you. Um, now, I had a couple of comments regarding that. Um, They're like, well, you know, didn't she die in the end and stuff like that? And I was saying, you know, um, for me, what better way to die but in your twin flame's arms? Like, that is so beautiful. Um, so, you know, the, in the video, I'll put a link for it below, but in the video, um, you know, this woman who, um, you know, the video starts as her as a child. Um, making this connection with this Im 
imaginary friend, but in reality, the imaginary friend is actually her twin flame masculine, um, who has been with her throughout her entire life. He's been this invisible force, this invisible love that's grounding her and protecting her. Um, and, you know, she revisits him many times uh, throughout her life, and in the end, she is with him. So, um, I really see this as this beautiful anchored energy, this love connection between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Oh my God, I'm going to cry again. What is up with me? <laughs> I'm so emotional lately. All right, let me look at the cards. Why am I emotional? What the heck? I feel it's not a sadness that, um, you know, that is restricting me in any way. Um, it is a happiness. I'm happy for the readings that I've done this week. They're just, they're filling me with so much hope. And um, I almost really feel like I have, you know, completed this major cycle. Um, you know, uh, like... I've graduated, I've, uh, yeah, I don't know, and be and because I'm feeling that way, I guess it's, you know, starting to show through in the reading, but um, it's confirmation, this reading is like confirmation for me, you know, that I've moved on from this major cycle, and now I'm celebrating it in my own way, um, so, yeah, anyway, okay, so three cards for that. King of Pentacles. Wow, magician again. And the sacral chakra. Okay, so um, heavy anchored energy once again. Um, this King of Pentacles is like an anchor. Um, it's a heavy grounded energy. So it, you know, Pentacles is earth energy, right? So he's at the pinnacle of success. He, you know, has achieved this abundance um, he is this man retired okay so either you are being represented as this anchor double anchor bam you know un unmovable um, grounded energy or it could also represent the divine masculine in his 3d form um, so maybe you have a connection um, for some of you out there maybe you have made this connection with your divine masculine and it is so anchored um, that it is undeniable, you know, right now in the, the present. You feel his energy with you, and it, uh, it grounds you, um, which is ironic because right beside that we have the magician, which is all about uh, being uplifted and, and, you know, having that connection to source. Um, so you got this in your present position for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so the crown chakra definitely activated. You got the card twice in your present position. So you are connected to source. You realize that you can create the reality that you desire. Um, so you've moved from this, you know, mental noise into this creative state. Um, so the master manifester, he has ideas and manifests those ideas into the 3D world. So you are anchored. <clears throat> and not only are you anchored, but you are creating a reality. Um, so it's a brand new beginning. Uh, the, which is weird because we have this resistance of an ending here. Um, it's almost like you're hopeful uh, that you, it's almost like you already have that final piece of the puzzle and you're holding it in your hand. Um, but you're resisting putting it in place, and in, and maybe it's because um, you're just holding space for the masculine while he takes care of whatever he needs to do. So it's almost like I am in, I am accepting what is, and I'm simply holding space. So the um, the sacral chakra, it's right beneath this heart chakra here. Um, so, you know, the, the sacral chakra has to do with emotions and the heart chakra is love. So you are lit up and you're connected to your emotions. Okay. It's emotions that are actually grounding you and giving you that power of manifestation and creativity. 
So what I'm seeing here is the Divine fe uh, Feminine is lit up. She is inspired. She has this creative force that is surging through her and it's because of this emotional chakra. Um, you know, she feels connected to her masculine and through emotions, through the chakra, it's, you know, opening that Kundalini and it's creating this, this magnetic force within her that is drawing inspiration and ideas from consciousness. Um, and she's grounding and making that a reality. Her creations are being manifested into the 3D. So it's like almost like boom, you know, she's continually pulling this energy down and manifesting like a mofo. She's using her resources. That's all I see here is you're pulling this energy out of the, the field. And wow, now that I'm looking at it all, look at that. That's incredible. You are surrounded by pixie dust and, and fairies and happy feels. And you're dancing. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So your future position. Waiting. Okay, so this is, um, you're waiting for the moment to make a move, is uh, what this card represents. One moment. So sorry, I had a knock at the door. So let me just give these a quick shuffle. All right. So this is an energy of um, waiting to strike, waiting for your moment. Um, so it's like almost like a kind of a patience energy. Wow. Ace of Wands. So you, you got this as a final outcome, I believe, for the Twin Flame. I know. No, actually, it was in present position. Okay. High Priestess. And the Three of Swords. So the Ace of Wands represents a brand new beginning in life, starting from zero. Like I say, the fool will be holding the, this wand in his hand as he takes that leap of faith. So it's letting go of your, your previous life. Um, and starting again uh, but it's starting on a spiritual path uh, so the ace of wands also represents a kundalini awakening so awakening the spirit within and using that energy in order to manifest the life that you desire um, so the high priestess is um, she's this energy seems to be coming up a lot in the readings um, this week but you will be tapping into your uh, subconscious mind um, and using your intuition in order to guide you. Um, and it's like um, you're waiting for that moment for something to happen. And it's almost like, you know, you're going to get this go light, this signal from source, um, which seems to be coming as, um, you know, this inner knowing, um, like it could result as a synchronicity and it will be your moment to move so the three of swords is very unusual that it would be showing up in this position it's almost like a, bl a block of some kind um, so the three of swords represents a broken heart um, so I'm gonna pull a card from Osho I never have to pull additional cards for the masculine it's hilarious you guys Okay, Source, what do you mean by the Three of Swords? Maybe allowing your heart to guide you. Um, don't protect your heart. Um, hmm. Now we have this Four of Cups over here mirroring the three of swords so you know the the four of cups represents a closed off heart whereas the three of swords is a broken heart and then we have this emotional um chakra in the middle okay 
One card, please. Three of Wands does not answer my question. So this represents being in a state of now, just experiencing life, connecting with nature, source, finding stillness. So I'm going to pull one more card. Integration, nice. Okay, so integration is the temperance card. So you got it twice again. Um, so I'm going to read this to you. If I can find my book. Oh, shoot. All right, one minute. Okay, so integration. The image of integration is the union mystica, the fusion of opposites. This is a time of communication between previously experienced dualities of life. Rather than night opposing dark, dark suppressing light, they work together to create a unified whole, turning endlessly one into the other, each containing in its deepest core the seed of the opposite. The eagle and the swan are both being of flight and majesty. The eagle is the embodiment of power and aloneness. The swan is the embodiment of space and purity, gently floating and diving upon and within the element of emotions, entirely content and complete within her perfection and beauty. We are the union of the eagle and the swan, male and female, fire and water, life and death. This card of integration is a symbol of self-creation, new life, and mystical union, otherwise known as alchemy. So. Um, yeah, the feminine is using alchemy in order to create this new life for herself. Um, so you're learning to blend your emotions. You're learning to use your intuition and to, um, you know, subtly uh, control the energies in order to um, make, you know, that life or environment that you desire. You're carving the contours of your reality using the power of the magician in order to do that so it's like you're you're pulling energy from source just like the magician um, to create the, that reality so you're using alchemy that's what I'm seeing from this card um, you're using alchemy and your intuition your connection to source and your higher self so yeah that's what I'm seeing here. You are, you will manifest um, this brand new beginning. Now these, these two cards are coming with the Three of Swords. So um, maybe it's a warning, Feminine, not to close your heart off. Um, or maybe it's like this ultimate healing energy. You know, um, I commented earlier on someone's um, message there about how you know what is the 5d what is this connection to twin flame um well the 5d is your spirit uh so it has no body it's just energy it's not the thoughts in your head um i is ego so you identify with the ego uh which is the devil here so you create this um reality in the 3d that you identify with so um, you know we are 3d forms so our first instinct when we are born is to find associations and connections with the 3d and eventually through spirituality and you know and connection uh, with a higher knowing you, you move out of that 3d reality and you move into this higher level of consciousness where you realize you are not the 3d you are in fact this energy um so that's what i'm kind of seeing here it's like you're detaching from um you know this uh identity that it has been causing you pain um and it has to do with this material chain is what i'm seeing here so I'm being guided to read the Three of Wands as well because this is your way of releasing that devil energy uh, is by going within. Okay, so experiencing, oh my God, and I used this card as a bookmark. So it's a Four of Wands. Okay, so 
experiencing, <clears throat> sorry, you just look around, look into the eyes of a child or into the eyes of your beloved, your mother, your friend, or just feel a tree. Have you ever hugged a tree? Hug a tree and one day you will become, you will come to know that it is not only that you have hugged the tree, but that the tree also responds to the tree. Sorry, the, the. <laughs> let me try that again. That is a badass um, sentence. Okay. Hug a tree and one day you will come to know that it is not only that you have hugged the tree, but that the tree also responds. The tree also hugs you. Then, for the first time, you will be able to know that the tree is not just the form. It is not just a certain species the botanists talk about. It is, um, it is an unknown god, so green in your courtyard, so full of flowers in your courtyard, so close to you, beckoning you, calling you again and again. Um, so yeah, what I'm feeling here with this card is that law of attraction. There's this force, undeniable force that the twin flames um, share between one another. So um, when you are, you know, incarnated into the 3D world, um, the twin flames souls, you know, are split into two. So you're split into two in order to experience what it is like to be separate. Um, so this 3D journey is one that is done alone. So you need to experience pain on the deepest levels before you can really truly appreciate what it's like to be in the light, um, to feel this unity, this true connection with your twin flame. Um, so as I was also mentioning in that comment is that, you know, the only way um, to experience love is to feel pain. There's that duality uh, that the temperance represents, the duality, the yin and yang. Uh, you can't feel love without feeling pain. So when you're reincarnated on this earth, you are split from your twin so that you can journey alone and learn this experience and then you arrive uh, together, you know, at this higher level of consciousness uh, on the 5D um, but then also in the 3D as well, you know, this ultimate union. But it is a journey that you must take as alone is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so it's like, uh, you know, there's this arrival. Something happens in the near future. It's a go time, go light. It's the ignition switch. So um, it comes in the form as this intu intuitive um, synchronicity. And ultimately, it results in this um, integration, ultimate union of the twins, um, you know, the winding of the souls. Um, and it's, um, you know, it's uh, connected to the Three of Wands, which is, you know, being in the now, <laughs> which is what the temperance is about as well, being in the now, being in the moment, experiencing life. Um, to its fullest. I don't know if I'm making any sense or if I'm just rambling on. Um, there's a whole lot of cards here that I'm trying to put together. So, um, integration union is coming. And I feel that it will heal yourself. You'll heal your soul. It will, you know, um, make you feel complete. You know, the, the, the rejoining of the souls. Um, anyway, back to the three of wands card so this card kind of speaks to me um i've explained it in one of my videos previously where i had this experience you know where i was walking along the the ocean here on the west coast in canada and um, it is such a beautiful place um, to really connect with nature the ocean is you know this powerful force um, that is made up of tiny little droplets of water, okay, that come together to form this massive, powerful, you know, energy. So we are like that ocean, okay? So as I was walking along this path, um, I suddenly realized that 
all things have consciousness, okay? So in order for nature to experience, um, you know, or be able to see um, itself and experience consciousness, it, you know, uh, it needs to connect with you, something that has eyes. So we are, all, we are connected to everything, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a rock or a tree or another person or a dog or a bug. Um, we all have this connection on a 5D level. Um, so in order for, you know, a plant or a flower to see itself, it connects with you and it sees itself through your eyes. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, you are not looking at yourself. You are actually looking at the universe, witnessing itself. You know, so there's this crazy um, paradox that, you know, is happening when you look at yourself in a mirror. It's not actually yourself. You're, you're looking at consciousness. Uh, and what's consciousness? Consciousness is the collective experience itself through your eyes, through your now, through your perspective. And all of us have our own unique perspective. Um, and so, you know, we share those that perspective with others. So, um, you know, we share that in the collective. So, um, when I was looking at this this tree, I was looking at the leaf, you know, um, seeing the veins and whatnot and the flowers. And, you know, I had this realization that um, this, this plant um, wanted to experience itself. So as I was looking at it, tears started to fill my eyes. And, I, you know, I was realizing that this, you know, this leaf, I know it sounds crazy, but was experiencing it was seeing itself for the first time and it was experiencing itself through love and because I felt that love um, you know I became emotional overwhelmed with love and it just you know I, it was weird <laughs> so I fell in love with a leaf and I showed the leaf what love felt like and I really did you know feel this um, awakening this uh, understanding you know of our connection to nature so um, that's what I'm kind of seeing. It's like this, you know, the, the feminine is on her journey, um, gaining wisdom and knowledge and realizing that she has the power to manif manifest the reality that she desires. And that's what she's doing. She's in her moment. And as an outcome, um, you will receive the go light of some kind, which will activate this series of sequences that will bring you to a point where you feel whole and complete. Um, but also try to remember that the union is not about union in the 3D. It is union in the 5D. We are not here to unite on a 3D level. We are here to help each other awaken to higher levels of consciousness. And that's what I'm seeing with the feminine is really connected uh, to the collective field and harnessing that power and um, awakening and um, it's it's magnetizing the masculine pulling him towards her um, so you know the law of attraction like attracts like it's not uh, opposites attract that is definitely not what a twin flame union is um, you know you're mirrors of each, of each other so you vibrate at the exact same frequency and harmony when you meet somebody um, that is your exact mirror, there's this incredible attraction and it's impossible uh, to pull the forces apart um, because you fit together, right? And you can feel that on an energetic level. You, you guys inspire each other uh, to create and manifest and raise you in consciousness. Sorry about that blabble there, but we'll carry on. Okay, message from the universe. Okay, so this energy is kind of like the Five of Wands, uh, in a way, combined with, um, you know, the Seven of Wands. So this is, you know, working your butt off day after day, um, toiling, and not being appreciated for all the hard work that you've done. Um, so it's kind of like, 
na na na, you know, you did this, you did that, pointing your finger kind of energy. So it's like the Five of Swords as well. So it's, you know, are you closing yourself off? So let's pull some additional cards. The High Priest. Wow, Divine Masculine. And the Solar Plexus Chakra. Okay, so I, I'm seeing, you know, gain your power. Uh, you need to find strength in order to do something that has to do with the devil. So the High Priest is a Divine Masculine um, in a spiritual form. So he represents that 5D connection uh, that you have with the Divine Feminine and her, you know, as a High Priestess. So um, I like to see this as, you know, the Divine Masculine's way of saying, I'm always connected with you in the 5D no matter what. Even though we're not connected in the 3D, I'm always there with you at your side. Um, but it also represents, you know, being a spiritual leader, um, sharing your wisdom, your, your knowledge, you know, that you've acquired, you know, with others in order to draw them out of the darkness. The Divine Masculine, um, you know, this represents uh, the Divine Masculine in his, you know, living his true authentic life, um, you know, living for himself, not for others. So this also represents the masculine in his power as well. Um, the sacral chakra is all about power. So this is, you know, courage, determination, power, in, uh, you know, that is giving you energy in order to, to deal with something. So the universe is telling you either not to become closed off or to find courage. Uh, and strength within yourself in order to release something or speak your mind or um, I don't know or maybe spirit is just telling you to listen listen for signs and synchronicities once again to, you know take your fingers out of your ears there and open yourself up because uh, there's going to be signs and synchronicities that are um, coming from the masculine you know, um, you know, this is 5D, this is kind of a 3D energy, and then power. So there's this connection of the crown chakra between, you know, this magician energy and the uh, high priest. So crown chakra activation. Um, so it's almost like this, this truth, um, the masculine is um, awakened to. He understands his true power uh, and he understands his spiritual connection um, and um, you know he's very powerful but here we got this feminine with her fingers in her ears you know um, so I don't know uh, maybe it's just a warning for the feminine to open up don't close yourself up out of fear perhaps I don't know Okay, your environment, the key. Okay, so um, because it's in your environment, you don't actually hold the key in your hand is what I'm seeing with this. The base chakra, ace of swords, and the seven of swords again. Okay, so the base chakra, this would be like um, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's that seed being planted, there's this beginning, this foundation, um, and it's solid, it's secure, um, so safety is an issue. The Ace of Swords, this came up in the recent past for the Twin Flame reading, it was repeated again as an outcome, I believe, um, but, you know, I see the feminine as being naked and exposed um, in this reading quite a bit so she there's this truth this honesty that she is bringing forward um, so the ace of swords represents a new beginning so it's a grounded idea it is cutting through barriers darkness it's truth um, expressing your truth clarity of thought the seven of swords you brought this in as a union energy in the twin flame so it's this looking over your your shoulder questioning whether or not 
um, you know, this is real. But, so it's in your environment, okay? It's almost like you're looking at this door. You know, this would, this Seven of Swords, it's like you're, I almost see you like looking at this key, looking at this door to freedom. Um, and, you know, you, you feel powerless in a sense to, to release yourself from that. You know, you feel insecure, like part of your safety will be taken away from you if you take that key and release yourself. Um, or you also maybe feel that if you leave something behind, that energy is going to follow you. Um, so it, it, there's a decision that needs to be made about your environment. I thought you had taken care of it, but again, you know, it's coming up as an outcome in the twin flame. So um, something needs to be released. That devil needs to be unchained. You've got the key. You know, you believe that you're powerless, that somebody else has the key, but ultimately uh, the Ace of Swords is telling you, no, you have the power to cut yourself from whatever is holding you back. Um, so you can release yourself at any time from that prison. Mirroring, mirroring energies in this reading. But if you feel insecure, the, the masculine is going to feel insecure. If you feel trapped, the masculine is going to feel trapped. Um, no matter what, you guys are going to reflect each other. So, you know, finding that balance, that temperance, that, that middle point where there's harmony is, is what the, the twins are trying to do right now is what I'm feeling. Okay, so what do you fear? Interesting. Okay, so this is gifts, rewards, recognition. Um, which kind of fits with this card. It's like, you know, you're putting work into something and you're not being recognized. Instead, you're actually being told what you're doing wrong, which causes you to close off. Um, so you fear this. It's gift. It's a bonus. Reward. Five of Cups. Lover's card. And the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Um, so... I'm seeing, you know, these, these two last cards as gifts from the universe, okay? Uh, so that's what this card would represent. It's, you know, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it's that brand new beginning in the 3D. It's that seed being planted, like the base chakra. Um, and it's the key to the door. Wow. These two cards are basically exactly what this Ace of Pentacles is saying. It's, you know, that key to open the door to your freedom, but it's a grounding energy. It's a new start in the 3D world. So, you know, it could be moving somewhere. It's, it's getting an influx of money um, or resources, resources uh, that come available to you as a gift. Um, and it gives you the power to do something new. So, like, start a new business or move or... Um, go to school or something, but it, it accesses this door to freedom. So, like I said, it's in your fear position. So you fear, perhaps, that this gift is too good to be true and that ultimately it's going to cause heartbreak. And I'm saying that because the Five of Cups is the first card. Um, so this is mourning, loss. It's, you know, having your heart broken and then being devastated. Uh, so, and it's because you were attached to something, um, you formed, you know, this vision, this fantasy of something in your mind, and when it didn't work out the way it uh, was supposed to work out, you were crushed, devastated. So you don't want to feel that pain anymore, okay? Uh, so, obviously, the key would be to... Um, cut any attachments, any chains that of expectations or attachments that you have, really. Let it go. Um, uh, you ultimately have the key to freedom in your own hands. So, and it's, you know, that key, key is continually being repeated um, with that prison card there. You can release yourself from that chain. The devil. 
so the um, lover's card is uh, the twin flame um, connection so uh, this card represents a heated passion desire and love that you feel um, for your twin flame so it's you know something that is unlike any other feeling before you know you feel this soul connection you feel um, love that is pure and deep um, and it awakens your spirit but also um, this card represents longing for union wanting it so it's not actual union or spiritual energy it's a recognition of the connection which you you have here but you feel like you're blocked out of it um, and it's causing you sorrow um, your longing um, but spirit is saying that you hold the key to release yourself from that that um, you know th that constraining energy you've created that so be careful what you think because you have the power to, to manifest um, you know your reality so if you're you're con continually thinking about how you know you're lacking um, then that's what you're going to attract into your life through the law of attraction if you feel you're lacking you're going to get more lack if you feel that you um, are abundant and you are receiving a lot of gifts then that's what you will attract you will attract love all right so you have two ways of of experiencing this reality so it's all a matter of perspective what do you see do you see yourself on that sailboat moving towards um, you know your destiny or do are you heartbroken locked in this jail um, you know locked out of love so don't fear um, spirit is you know confirming that there's something that is coming to you a gift that is coming to you so um, no worries all right so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy Wow so that's basically what I was just saying it's all a matter of perspective uh, you choose to believe, you know, that things are miserable, that they, they won't work out for me ever. Or you can choose towards, uh, to walk towards your destiny, towards the sun, towards happiness. That's crazy. So for the feminine, I'm feeling, um, you know, you're in this manifestation mode, but also... Um, you are trying to balance, um, you know, the two sides, uh, the masculine and feminine energy energies uh, uh, within yourself, as well as uh, you're trying to find harmony with your masculine. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids. So this will be the message from the universe. Seashell princess. Oh my god. Is this the same card that I pulled for the masculine? I don't know if I can read that poem again, guys. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. What? Oh my god, it is. Okay, I think I can read it again. So this is a repeated card, repeated message uh, from the universe. Um, when I read it for the masculine, I felt it was masculine reading it to the feminine. Uh, and so the energy would be reversed now. This is the feminine reading it to the masculine. Okay, so Seashell Princess. For whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me. The smell of sea salt in the air, a sea-sprung breeze of weather fair. Each other's thoughts are only care, a life of living free. Perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue. A million pearls strung in my hair to show your love is true. The summer sun's forever hot. I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matters not as long as I'm with you. 
So it says, a doughy-eyed princess adorned with the bounty of the sea daydreams till her heart's content. She is a romantic, a dreamer, who listens intently to her own desires and has the passion to pursue them. That's what I was feeling with the, the Empress card. Okay, so the message is go after your heart's desire. Oh my God. Um, there is a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow and nurture it. Uh, but are you having trouble letting go of practical considerations and diving into the unknown? Know, however, that while many people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually climb up and grab them. Look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trapping of the day, today considerations and obligations. Reimagine the ideal life you long for in the past and write de down the details. Put it down on paper and make a commitment to your younger self to strive and dream once again. That's just too perfect. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if it resonated. Much love, guys. Peace.